In the heart of the Bering Sea, off the coast of Alaska, deep down in one of its largest canyons, lay a secret unknown to the world. That is, until Greenpeace arrived. And now that secret is called Aptos Canoe, heart of the Bering Sea. Greenpeace journeyed to the Bering Sea in 2007 to document previously unexplored canyon habitats in hopes of strengthening the case to protect these important areas from destructive fishing practices, such as bottom trawling and overfishing. Using deep worker submarines, Greenpeace explored the Bering Sea canyons down to 2,000 feet. It only took 700 feet for explorer Kenneth Loic of Greenpeace Canada to find the new spun species and bring a sample of it back on board the Greenpeace vessel Esperanza. So I just collected the white little sponge at 722 feet and it's now 835. Top side, top side, this is deep work of seven, over. The new spun species, Optos Canoch, is named for the Aleut word for heart. It was named by Greenpeace campaigner George Pletnikov and St. George Eco Office Director Andrew Malavansky to emphasize that the canyons represent the heart of the Bering Sea. This is the first record of the sponge genus for the Bering Sea. Half of the 14 species of corals and two-thirds of the 20 species of sponge that were collected were previously unknown to live in the Bering Sea. These findings underscore the unique nature of these canyons, as well as how little is known about the deep sea in general. The Bering Sea is home to some of the largest submarine canyons in the world. These unique habitats contain areas that are deep enough to provide refuge for species that have literally no place else to hide from industrial fishing operations. But much of the canyons remain vulnerable. Greenpeace will continue to advocate for marine reserves to help protect species like Aptos Canoch and all the other species that have yet to be discovered by human eyes.